Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we have another Choose Only One video and we're going to focus on CCW handguns. Not necessarily the handguns themselves, but the size of the handgun and which one is most popular for you for your primary carry. And I'm going to open up the safes for this one. Going to show a lot, so let's get to it. Let's start with smallest and we'll make our way up in size. This is the Seacamp LWS 32. Is your primary carry a Derringer? Look at this. It's tiny. Chamber 32 ACP. Very lightweight pocket gun. People love this. It is hammer fired. Heavy trigger pull consistent with pocket carry guns, but the Seacamp. A lot of people dig them. I dig them. Nice secondary carry, but is it your primary? Is it a 380 LCP? A lot of people pocket carry 380 LCPs and the LCP Max made by Ruger is a very popular gun. The feedback I have gotten is that a lot of people carry this. Has the double stack mag for additional capacity compared to the original. That's why it's called the LCP Max, but people feel confident with it and there are still a lot of 380 ACP fans out there and I'm wondering if this would be your choice. Are you still a single stack 9mm fan? Here's a Car PM9. I've had this for years. Love it. Very small, excellent pocket carry choice, but a lot of people have told me they carry a single stack 9mm when we... Listen to most people, they say it's irrelevant these days with the small, lightweight, limited capacity magazine, but a bunch of other people say they still carry it. This one here has night sights, very nice, single stack, limited with capacity, still packs a punch with 6 plus 1. Have you jumped on the subcompact 9mm double stack mag? wave that has been running rampant in the CCW world. This is SIG P365, has a 12 round mag, also 10 and then even higher round magazines are available. People love them, people say they carry just as well as the single stack offering higher capacity which gives peace of mind. People love them, so many manufacturers are producing their version of a double stack subcompact 9mm carry pistol. This is a double stack midsize handgun. It's a Hellcat Pro with 15 round mags and a 3.7 inch barrel. The Hellcat has a 3 inch barrel. This is 3.7 inches and people feel better off with a longer barrel, more accuracy and higher capacity magazines. Offers three finger contact with the grip. Many people are moving in this direction in all calibers, not just 9mm, we're talking 40 and 45 as well. Is this your style for CCW? Is this what you prefer for primary carry? Certainly would be a great choice. A lot of people carry revolvers. We have to give them their due respect, no doubt about that. So I brought out two of them. This this is a Rossi RP63. It's a three inch barrel, six shot, 357 Magnum revolver and stainless steel. And very happy to see Rossi get back into revolvers after so many years with a layoff from them. But here we have an Alpha Proj 3.0 imported by Rock Island Armory. It is also a 357. Magnum six shot cylinder there, but more of a snub nose with a two inch barrel. They, they come much smaller than this, but you get the idea. People pocket carry, they holster carry, they don't want anything to do with magazines. Are you a revolver fan? At one time, the Glock 19 was the most popular carry gun in the U.S. Many surveys reported that. But that's what this is, a compact size 9mm. You can call it the Glock 23 and 40 or the Glock 30 and 45. It doesn't matter. Are you into compact size handguns with right around a 4-inch barrel, 15-round mags, maybe more capacity, definitely suit the bill. People say, you know, what I use at the range is what I want to carry. I don't want to play around with these subcompact nines. I want a larger gun, and this one certainly works for me. I don't see any reason to change. Several people say I don't want anything to do with polymer frame handguns. I want an all steel handgun. This is a SAR K245C chambered in 45 ACP. They they just feel better. They say, you know what? I was raised with metal frame handguns. I want to carry a metal frame handgun. I don't want anything to do with that. The Poly Wonder 9, Wonder 4, you name it. They, they just don't want anything to do with it. They laugh at them actually. But this is a certainly, certainly a nice handgun in 45 ACP. Sticking with the same metal frame theme, 1911s. People carry these, they really do. Even though it may not be popular on YouTube, people carry
carry 1911s. And this is a 5-inch barrel government size called the Desert Eagle 1911G. Love this handgun. Love 1911s. I have a, a sincere fondness for 1911s. This one has been with me for years. Has that color case heart and frame. Just beautiful. People will carry it. Are you one of those guys? Or a subcompact 1911. This is a Desert Eagle 1911U for undercover. Still packs in 7 rounds of 45 ACP. The last one I'm going to show because I don't have a long barrel 44 Magnum revolver and that's this right here a full-size handgun with a four and a half inch barrel 17 round mags this is a bull armory axe fs hatchet loaded with all the goodies that that people love with glocks but a little more accessorized but it's full size so it would be equivalent to a glock 17 are you a full size guy see i don't mess around with anything but a full size handgun doesn't bother me a bit to carry it and that's the way i'm going to roll so which one of these size categories would best fit you for your primary carry and be sure to choose only one if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.